Hi, good morning. Morning. Um, this Friday, we were looking at Psalm 91, and the teens were uh, sharing with us this part of the Bible, and it says, Psalm 91, 1 and 2, He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of my Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Yeah, so we looked at how uh, God was the refuge uh, for both Emily and for Aisha. And uh, we're also going to see how God used Peter to be a refuge uh, for his family. Enjoy. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Uh, um, this psalm um, talks about um, people who believe in God and rescue them, rescue them in time of need. If you call upon his name, and if you make God your friend and savior, no harm will come upon you and your family. Okay. And it relates to um, 15 and 16. Like 15 said, when they call, call on me, I will answer and I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue and honor them. It relates to um, Psalm 14. Um, Verse 14, the Lord says, I will rescue those who love me. Oh. The top. Um, so this start, psalm starts with whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High. So obviously a shelter is like a safe place of protection. And the word dwell actually means in this verse to take up permanent residence. So God is asking like, and reminds us that we can like have a permanent residence in his presence um, um when i was like three or four um i went to the beach with my family and i keep on like remembering the story because i remember how like scary it was um we were at the beach and i was around yeah three or four and i got lost for a good like two hours and it was really scary because a three-year-old just like wandering around the beach with like no one there um it was really scary and at that obviously i think i was really young to just like pray but i just now that i think of it like god did help me because i mean how many kidnappings do you see of little children or uh maybe i wouldn't have come back for a while and like i found a woman and she really helped me and i went to a lifeguard and i ended up being helped and stuff and honestly i think that's just a miracle really because it was just really not great i guess that uh, i was found yeah i think what's it called actually yesterday would have been about i think like three years um but the first time i ever dealt with death i came back from a school trip and one of my um my mom's very good friends she had died and i didn't really know how to deal with it and I just had to go back into school and just get on with it. And um, that's the first time I see my mum look vulnerable. So I pay for just peace, really. Because, you know, if if that's someone that is meant to be strength to you and they're, they're looking vulnerable, then it's very hard for you as well. Uh, I pray for her peace. I pray for her healing. And then I, I, eventually I saw that. And then, but I feel like the role switched and that's what God did for me. I could be strong for her and then she could do what she needed to do. Yeah. And um, yeah, it was, it was very peaceful at home and then that's the most we've talked and that's the closest that I felt to her at, yeah. at some point. Uh, yeah, that's, that's what, one incredible time that really sticks out. That's good. And uh, what you'll find growing up is there's going to be more times like that. Um, yeah. yeah. Like it's it's gonna increase more and more as the older you get. 